It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a second episode of the day. Now what we've got in store for you right now is something seriously special. So a couple of days ago, I made a video on a base that I am using currently inside a wall. Let me get the base on screen right now. So I made a video on this base and I basically told you guys and showed you with replay proof that this base was undefeated. It was like unbeatable inside a wall. The number one, two and number three players all attacked me and completely failed. And you know what? You won't believe it, but it's gone and done it again. The Golem Trap has been extremely successful. And you know what's even worse inside of this war? We are up against the best clan we have ever faced in our YouTube career, in our YouTube career, in our Clash career, guys. This is a level 10 clan in the face. Shout out to you guys. Completely destroyed us inside of war. They are the most tactical clan I have ever seen. So obviously my base is the only one so far which hasn't even been one starred. They zero starred the base, so we're going to show you the replay and I'm going to show you the Golem Trap in action once again. This, this base is beautiful. I mean, I basically stole the base from the, uh, the last clan war. If you didn't know how I got it, what I done was, I went into the old clan, sorry, the, the last clan war, I went onto the number one player on the enemy team, I screenshotted his base and basically built his base on my base to see how he would attack it. He failed on his own base and it's just worked 100% since then and hasn't even been one star. So let's not waste any time. I'm going to show you the defensive replay here. So if we just pause it, you can see the army he's using is going to be a couple of witches, four golems, one inside of the clan castle. Sorry, five golems, one inside of the clan castle, 16 wizards, and yeah, the king, the queen, a couple of rage spells, a few free spells, and some earthquakes. So obviously, the reason why it works so well is quite simply everyone, anyone who's attacking a town 11, is going to want to take out the eagle artillery, or at least try and stop it as soon as they can. So what I've done is I've put all of the Teslas, apart from one of them, loads of the big bombs, spring traps, loads of the traps, basically, on the right-hand side of the base. So he's placed down one golem, he's placed down two, and then he's placed down three. Now the reason why you call it the golem trap, and the reason why it does so much damage to the golems, look at that. They placed down three golems, they spread them out, but because the Tesla popped up, all of the golems are going to group around one Tesla. And because they've done that, it means a wizard tower splash damage is going to hit not just one golem, but it's going to hit all triple of them. And same with the Eagle Artillery. Look at that. It's raining Hellfire down on those Golems. And there is absolutely nothing. Angry Monkey. Shout out to you, Angry Monkey. Thanks for attacking my base. There is nothing he can do about it. Once the Golems are gone, it's the end of the land for the Witches. It's going to be it's gonna be like just lights out, all out, guys. I mean, the Wizards are going to get crucified. The Witches are going to get buried. The Queen's going to get a nice dig straight in the ribs. The King's going to get a kick in the bollocks. I mean, you, you get where I'm going with this, guys. And the beautiful thing about it is... They had no troops to back up and try and take out my defending clan castle. So my level 5 dragon inside of the CC just demolished those golems, ripped them, burned them. I don't even know how stone burns, but apparently in COC stone does burn. And then of course he's going to burn the witch. Sorry, not the witch, the queen. Well, the queen's a witch anyway. She's a bitch, isn't she? So the queen's gone and there we have it. Now he's going to move on to the king. This dragon is an absolute OP beast. There we go. See you later, mate. Boom! And we've got the zero star defense in the bag. I don't know how this base does it. Now, obviously, I would suggest using it, but just change it up a little bit. Maybe move the Eagle Artillery to the other side of the map because there are a few people who have seen this base now and may know how to take it on. But for some reason, no one's been able to defeat this one. So just before we move on to the rest of the video, I've got a question to ask you guys. Now, I know a lot of small Clash YouTubers watch me, and I know a few larger, well, medium to larger ones watch me as well. But what I was going to ask you, would you like me to make a video on how to Clash YouTube? I'll tell you all my hints, all my tricks, everything that I've learned over the last year. Let me know in the comment section, guys. If we get a 1,000 likes on this episode, I will make that for you happily later on tonight or even tomorrow. Just let me know down below if you would love to see that. So it seems like I've been having a bit of luck over the last 24 to 48 hours. Not only have I won a few defenses inside a war, but I've also been winning some defenses on the trophies inside of, you know, the, just the multiplayer battle, what you're seeing right now. This base, I mean, this base absolutely sucks, but it's like a trap base, isn't it? And you, you know you get those greedy little players who just attack you without the heroes. Well, that's been happening quite a few times. Obviously, they want the Dark Elixir. So let's go ahead and show you some of these replays. This is perhaps the funniest one. I mean, this guy drops two giants. Yeah, look, look what he does here. He, he only drops a very small amount of his army. He drops the queen. He's going to clean up the, that elixir there. I mean, there's barely any elixir inside of it. I mean, it's really not worth it to do this. There's, what, 100,000 if they get all four of those. 
So the queen's going down there, thinking it's going to be a nice easy ride. Hell no, bitch, you are about to die. There we go, look what he done. He just ended it, completely ended it. Obviously, he didn't really care about the trophies, but I got 20 trophies out of it, and I only lost, what, 85,000 loot, which in the Champions 1 League is absolutely nothing. So we're making our way into another defense, and check this one out. This guy is one of those greedy little buggers who doesn't wait for his heroes to heal. This is what I do. I mean, I am so guilty of this. I've lost hundreds of trophies, probably tens of thousands of trophies, because I am just so damn impatient. I cannot wait for the king to heal like five minutes. I just go in and attack, and it appears I'm not the only one who does this. I mean, this guy hasn't waited for any of his heroes. I'm going to guess and say he's Town Hall level 11. He's using healers, no queen, no king, no grand warden. Sending those giants in, but of course, it's going to be multiple damage from the Eagle Artillery because they're all grouped up together. He's dropped a free spell on it when it really wasn't necessary. The, the Inferno Tower was just going to tear those giants into absolute pieces. you got the Eagle Artillery still up and running there. The Expos are going to absolute town on the giants as well. The healers are doing a great job here. Let's see who targets the healers. He's only got one healer left. Obviously, it's keeping those giants alive slightly, I believe, but here we go. Let's check the damage the Eagle Artillery does. It got all three shots off just before it was taken out. Boom, boom, boom. Destroyed the Golem. The Eagle Artillery is now gone. He's got a couple of minions moving around on the right-hand side up to 40%. So it was close. It was close. Obviously, if they had their heroes and they'd been a little bit more patient, it would have been an easy one-star. Maybe even a two-star. But thankfully, there are always going to be like selfish and greedy and impatient people in the world, just like me and this guy. So it means I'm going to win a couple of trophies on defense. I cannot complain. He's still got, what, two poison spells, two minions, two wall breakers, and two barbarians. Strange. It's like the rule of two. It's like Illuminati, but it only comes in twos. So he's taken out, what, 43%. Mr. Porter's going to shoot down that little minion. See you later, buddy. And that looks like it is the end of the road for you, my man. We got Tesla there just warning him that these are not free buildings. And he ends it there. And I gained another. How many trophies did I get that time? Oh, another 20. Second time in a row as well. How strange. Two barbarians, two minions, two poison spells. Two, what else was it? Two poison spells and 20 trophies. Quite strange. For the second time in a row. So I thought I'd do a little tribute to the enemy clan in the face, quite simply because they are the best clan we've probably ever faced. They're the only level 10 clan we've ever faced. We've faced a lot of Town Hall level 9, sorry, not Town Hall level 9, level 9 clans. But I thought I would show this. They managed, their number one player managed to triple star our second base. And of course, he has got like semi-rushed walls and all that. Well, he does have rushed walls. But he is, he's got the Eagle Artillery up and running and loads of other defenses. And he got triple starred. Pretty damn easy, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to show you this defensive replay. Quite simply because it was a great attack strategy. So here we go. I've never seen a queen walk and witches, mass witches, used together. It's really quite strange because you don't really see queen walks with that. But this guy done it absolutely beautifully. So here we go. He's going to be using the king and witch, a couple of wizards on the left, to kind of take out all the left defenses just to ensure, and a golem, sorry, that all of the rest of the witches, look at them, it's a massive horde of witches, going to produce so many damn skeletons. He basically wanted to ensure that they are going to be parked straight into the center to take out the Eagle Artillery, the Teslas. Now, the great thing about this, I've watched the replay a couple of minutes ago. The guy uses his free spells at the absolute perfect moment, and he uses his Grand Warden's ability at the perfect moment as well. So you can see he's double free spell on that multi-target Inferno Tower, and of course the Clan Castle, which means a single target Inferno Tower is going to get completely overrun. As soon as the free spell runs out, he uses the Grand Warden's ability and takes out both Inferno Towers in a few seconds. It's an awesome attack, and credit to where credit is due. This guy's demolished this base. If we take a look on the right hand side, you can see the Queen Walk is still going on. She's still got her ability to use. This really is a very good attack strategy. I've used it myself a few times. I have managed to triple star some Town Hall 11s inside of War. I think I triple starred one for the first time ever a few days ago. And I've also done it a few times inside of the actual multiplayer field as well. You know, just standard trophies. But I'm not going to lie. These sorts of attacks are so damn expensive. I have no idea how people are able to sustain them. Because, I mean, it costs like what? 6,000, 7,000 Dark Elixir, and unless you're finding massive loot bases, which are around, but they are extremely hard to triple star, then you're going to start losing Dark Elixir, and it's just not able to sustain. It's not efficient, which is quite simply the only reason why I don't use them, because witches, without a doubt, 
are the most overpowered. I don't know if I'd say overpowered, but they are definitely, when used correctly, more powerful than any other troop in the game. If you're Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, you will know exactly what I mean. So there it is, guys. Massive, massive shout out to the enemy clan. Done a fantastic job inside of this wall. We tried to hold on. Shout out to my clan members as well. We tried to hold on, but obviously, we got slaughtered. I would love to see, though, is my base going to get attacked again by the end? I will let you know. So there we have it, don't forget to let me know in that comment section, would you love me to do a video on how to clash YouTube or how to YouTube in general, just giving all my tints, hints, all my tints and hints, all my tints and hints, all, all my tips and hints that I've learned over the last year guys, so let's smash a thousand likes on this episode, I will see you very shortly for another one, please subscribe to this channel right now, for we are approaching and about to surpass quarter of a million subscribers there is going to be a giveaway next week i'm sure you all know that so stay tuned to the channel i will see you shortly i love you all so much peace out